everybody. How you doing? Uh, oops, let me turn that light down. She's a little hot. Anyway, hi. Welcome to the channel. I'm Color and Chat with Joanna. And, um, well, I'm Joanna. Okay, so yesterday, <laughs> I have to apologize. I was a little bit, little, 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 little bit of a mood. But today we're doing better. And we are in last night's jammies. So, you know, nothing exciting has happened. <laughs> uh, but let's pop her open, shall we? This is another diamond painting that now I have a new one. I have several new ones actually coming uh, in the next couple of days. But this one was something I always saw and I loved. And it is like father, like son. And I, okay. Long story short, if you're new to the channel, I used to work with lions and tigers. No bears, just lions and tigers. Um, I was a C5 husbandry certified animal husbandry person. I just basically took care of very, very big cats with very big appetites. And some of them had very big attitudes. But um, <clears throat> there was one lion that... Um, we picked up at an auction, which, by the way, I hate auctions, and I hope they're all shut down by now, but you never can tell. Um, he was only, like, not even a week old and barely just hanging on by a thread because, you know, he couldn't nurse, and so I had to take him home and nurse him. Um and uh, he was my angel. And when I saw this picture, there's two diamond paintings that I really love. One is Leo by uh, Josephine Wall, which I do own. And I am going to get to her probably in the next two months or so. Um, but, uh, but this guy, he, okay. The cool thing about Fosse, Fosse was a lion who had a huge mane. Now, he was fixed, but um, it didn't take, okay? <laughs> whenever, they, whenever they attempted to fix him, which, which I cried for three hours, but you know what? I think the good, good Lord, sweet baby Jesus heard my cry because it never took. So when a lion is not fixed and has his uh, little kahunas, the hair grows. So Fosse had the most beautiful mane. And when I saw this lion, hold on, I can't wait. I got to get her out of the box for you. Hold on. Or get her out of the bag. Um, because she's so... He was so beautiful. <laughs> and when I was uh, working at the Nature Center, uh, we did not do... I'm sorry, I hit the camera, didn't I? Right, now you're, now you're going to see my big fat gut. Oh, well. You know who I am, right? I mean, there's no mystery. <laughs> anyway... I always like to look at the toolkit after because it's a Cracker Jack box and you never know what's going to be in it. Every toolkit is different. I mean, they all have the same basic accoutrement, but, you know, sometimes you get a seashell and sometimes you get a heart and, you know, a feather. Oh, God, what I went through to get a feather out of these people. I'm telling you, I was ready to sell my soul. But anyway... <clears throat> Fossey had this big, fat, brown mane of, 
Oh, you know what? I have a picture of him. Honey, can you bring me my phone? Long suffering husband is like, oh God, what does she want now? What does she want now? Here. Can I have my phone? Thank you mm -hmm. very much. Okay. Say hi to the people. Hi, people. Hi, people. Long suffering husband says hi. Okay, I found a way to search my many pictures. There goes George. Um, Fosse was beautiful. Okay, here is a picture of him when, let me turn it around so you can see it. Here's a picture of him when he was just, let me get it in focus, when he was just a little baby with a little tiger grassa. And then, yeah, I, hold on, let me try to turn this down. Now I think you can see him better. That was my little boo-boos. He was so tiny. And then, and then the little beggar grew up. <laughs> and he got really, really big. Um, I don't have a lot of pictures of, oh, look. This one's so precious. Look. I feel like a like a proud mommy showing um baby pictures, <laughs> you know, because I had so much fun with my cats. They were so beautiful and so I don't know, just you know, they were arrogant and crazy and okay so let me try to get in the light that was him that was Fosse and he kept growing hair even though he was shooting blanks because the the um the thing kind of took but it didn't you know his hair kept growing well when it comes to lions, look, I swear to God, it looks so much like him. And lions all do look very, very different. They have different snouts. They have different brows. They have coloring. But I saw him and I went, holy cannoli. Um, I'll, I'll find some videos, um, uh, some old videos of me working with him. <laughs> One video gets a lot of, I think it got like almost a million views where um, he was coming at me. I had a wheelbarrow and uh, it was feeding time and we had a, a chicken place right down the street and all the chicken that the FDA did not verify for people got to uh go to the cats and we're talking about oh close to four thousand pounds of chicken a month i mean so don't ever think you're going to get one of these as a pet you'll live to regret it i promise all I did was take care of them. They weren't pets. I didn't teach them to jump through fiery rings. Um, I didn't dress them up in, in glitter, although I thought about it because <laughs> I'm that girl. But um, anyway, so this has been around for a while, but I fell in love with it, and yes. Till the day I die, I will be a lion girl. Now, what I do notice, hold on one second. I'm just going to move her up. And then this camera has got to go up. How do I do this? Okay. There. Look at the cap. Look at the cap. And the hair. 
the mane is a, is the biggest part of it. And I do have one video where, um, oh, little David was only about, I think, five or six. George, George, why don't you come in here and be part of the meeting, okay? He's jealous. He hates when I talk about anybody but him. Um, okay, it was feeding time, and... I had to uh, go out into the paddock where he had, hit, it was him and four other females, and they had this beautiful, big, open enclosure that, that just gave them so much space. Um, it was really done right. Anyway, he came walking at me. And I'm telling you, when there is a 400-pound, slightly overfed lion walking at you, and he's chewing the stalk, and he's walking, and he's and his head's down, and he's like, eyes are peeled on you. I was like, well, this little shit's about to start something. You have a lion attitude. And I had a big shovel, and... <laughs> My son was back behind both of the security gates and he was watching and he was like, Mommy, Mommy, don't. Mommy's going to get eaten. And I'm like, uh, no. And I whacked him with the back of the shovel. Just boom, right? Right here in the head. Um, which, by the way, their skulls are extremely thick. So uh, me hitting him on the head is like you thumping. It was a thump. It was nothing to him. It to me, it was a home run. I mean, I Derek Jeter that that little son of a bitch. He was coming at me, and I was like, no, 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 it is not your turn yet. And he just kind of shook his head and looked at me and was like, okay. And then he rolled over on his back, which is a sign of submission, and uh, everything was fine. But I have many, many lion and tiger stories. I did it for five years. It was the sweetest. Now, I say this. It was the sweetest five years of my life. Um, it, almost, <laughs> it almost made my relationship with long-suffering husband not happen. Because I brought him out and he was like, uh, No, honey, no. This, this is not normal. Normal people don't do this. But normal people do it every day. Okay, so let's take a look at him um, on the details. I'll try to move this up. I, I cannot. The sky and the colors. Oh, I really hope she renders up the way that she looks right now. because, And if you notice, there's a lot of little circles. These are training circles because he is around. Um, don't be afraid of the training circles. They're... they're they're not going to get in your way, and for people who are beginners, they actually are even easier. So for our A, B diamonds, which are Aurora Borealis, we have 101, 102, 135, and 141. So we have four A, Bs. Not bad. Very interesting color scheme here. Um, but I, you know... <laughs> There are people that have, like, posters and pictures of lions all over their house. When I was single, <laughs> I actually had to count one day because there were more pictures of my cats than my husband or, well, he wasn't even my husband yet. But there were more pictures of cats than there were of my Sun and that was not good. All right, come on down, nice and slow. And let's. This camera is on sort of like a ball bearing. It's supposed to be an upgrade, but I don't know. Um, no, it's a little bit of crinkly paper. Paper's not gonna hurt you, I promise. And if you don't like it, you are free to uh, fast forward. But I love looking at the drills. I think the colors are everything. And the colors are what 
sets the tone. We have 937. We have this beautiful, I wish you could see it. Um, hold on a minute. I'm going to get brighter. It's like a deep, deep, deep uh, burgundy brownish color. We have 934, dark, dark, dark blue. 318, oh, several shades of gray. We may have 50 shades of gray in here. 935, we have a lot of gray. We have a lot of sky. Uh, 101, isn't she lovely? <gasps> Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Uh, 3024, 951, 471. This green, I'm assuming, is going to be part of the um, the uh, the greenery in the background. These colors are just giving me life right now. They're so rich. They're muted. They're beautiful. Uh, 3861, 3864, 434, and a couple of super light grays here. Okay. And, oh, by the way, it has 45 colors, just in case you want to know. And I'm going to put him right here so you can really enjoy the, the beautiness of the image. The image is so rich. Any cat lover is going to love this. And I am a cat lover. I also am a cat advocate. And, um, you know, I could tell you stories that would nauseate you. But I'm not going to because I really feel like um, we need to focus on saving them, not selling them. 37 72 435 oh and let me give a great big thank you to the drug dealers because some of the greatest cats we ever got were from drug dealers yeah um and you guys out in dubai stop it stop putting a fucking tiger in your living room to try to impress people you know your vanity is out of control uh, thirty-seven ninety-nine. I've never had this color. It's sort of like this beautiful smoky gray. Do you see that? I've never had that color before. Um, eight forty-one nine 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 seven seven. I know. I'm so I'm so ADD today. I'm I'm really sorry. There are days when I'm just gonna be ADD. Um. This is 102. Look at the 102s. Woo-wee. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. I want a dress made out of that. Wouldn't you love to have, like, a dress made out of that? I would love to have a dress made out of that. Okay. And 739. 135. This is my favorite green. I have a coat. With uh, white flowers made out of this color. Can't leave the house without people saying, what a cute coat. I love this color. And this color loves me. If you are a fair, fair-skinned white Irish girl um, with, like, absolutely no color, <laughs> this is your color, I'm telling you. Or if you're a redhead, honey, you could set that sucker on fire. Uh, 644 and 33.25. Um, not a terrible, terrible color kit. And certainly very doable. Uh, the clarity. I am not even using a light pad. Look, you can see the minus signs. Look, you can see the T. Look, look and how clear the colors are. I mean, they're just beautiful. Hold on, let me see if I can... Yeah, I know, I pulled the camera down and now... I mean, but look. Easy peasy, nice and squeezy. She is going to kit up in a New York minute and... 
I will have her done before you know it. As soon as I get done with... <laughs> oh my God. I'm telling you, I need to lock myself in this room and put on a, a good audio book. Oh, there is a new book out. I love autobiographies, by the way. I put them on audio and I listen to them and they are amazing. Um, yeah, my anniversary gift, I know. She needs to get a bath. Um, it's by Allie Wentworth. Allie Wentworth is married to George Stephanopoulos on ABC News. And she did this book. Um, and it's really, I think it's going to be great. I'm getting it on audio today. And then I'm going to uh, sit down and just, because, boy, you get a good audio book. And you sit down in diamond paint. I mean, the stuff, the time just flies. And before you know it, you're like halfway done. Um, but it's called, oh, what is it? God, I can't remember what it's called. ADD, kicking in again. It's Allie Whitworth, and it is, uh, she wrote a book. It's all about COVID. It's about what she went through during COVID and, you know, um, the, the loneliness and the, you know, I think it'll kind of help if nothing else, because, but look, I can't get it back in the back. Who does this? I want to know. Nurse Rachel, you need to do a live, like, a, or a tutorial about how to get these Bastards back in the back. Anyway, um, so father and son, like father, like son. If you're an animal lover, I am usually not the biggest landscape, but the subject matter is so beautiful, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to get started on her. In the meantime, you, you, girl, boy. You, Richard, Christopher Colossa, um, Sylvia, my sweet Sky, uh, Randy, all of, I, I, I could just sit here for an hour and name people that I love in this community. Take care of you. You're important to me, so be important to you and do something nice today. Even if it's just, you know. Just go buy a scarf. Winter's coming. Autumn is coming. Let's all let's let's call today Scarf Day. Let's buy a scarf. Anyway, I'll talk to you in my next video. And there are more unboxings coming. And shine, 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 shine on, shine on. I love you. Have a good day. Bye bye.